Okay. It's just new, no news today. It's gonna be fucking shit. It's gonna just be embarrassing. Can't believe it. What? You just have to believe in yourself, Richard. Just you can do it. I believe in you. Shut up, Terry. You don't know anything about whether I can do it or not. I just, I just think you're, you're much better than you realise you are. And you should, you just give it a go and see how it goes. Well, I, obviously, I'm going to give it a go. Just, but there's not, you know, there's fuck all to talk about. There's fuck all to do. So I'm just fed up. You said me, look, this is the 40th episode of this. I know you've done really well, Richard. That's amazing. 40th. It's not amazing, is it? We're just doing it in the attic. You know, if it was on TV, yeah, that when I was getting paid, that would be amazing. But I'm not, you said, Terry, when I signed you up for this, you came to me. You said, oh, we'll get this going, puppets and everything. Pretend that you want to do a news story, but then puppets come in and ruin it. That You said that'll be on ITV by... March 2020, you said. Oh, you know, it's, it's, you know, we're still doing all right. We're not doing all right. We're not on ITV, are we? We're not even on Channel Five. We're on. We're just still in my attic. Well, you know, you, you had that testicle removed and stuff. Well, that should have helped. That should have a good publicity. That should have got me on telly quicker. Well, you know, it's just through more difficult than I thought, Richard, to get it on that sort. But you know, it'll be, it'll be fine. No, look, man. I've you know I've had a couple of weeks off. I'd have a couple of weeks to think about this, and um, how long did the show? By the way, it's about three minutes till till we're live. So three minutes till we're live. Yeah. Um, okay, I've had a think. Uh, I'm, I'm getting rid of all the characters. Not all of them. Yeah. In the King of the World. Yeah. Yeah. These all other King of the World. Did they don't? It's shit. Even Ali. Yeah. Even Ali. I'm chucking them all in a big bin. I've got, I'm going to, uh, you know, you've misdirected me on this, and um, I've, I'm going to, I've got some new puppets, I'm going to try some new stuff, it's going to go in a new direction. It's too good for the fucking scum that, tri I, the people who tune into this are weird, man. Oh, Richard, they're your fans, you should, you've got to respect them. I don't respect them, that's the problem. You've got to respect them, Richard, they put a lot of time and effort. Yeah, w uh, it's when they start putting money in, I'll respect them. Well, you know, it's on the kid money on Amazon Prime. That's not even their money, Terry. Do you not even understand? That's Ian Amazon's money. And he's trying to run off into space or something. So, you know, we'll, that's going to dry up, isn't it, when he gets blown up in a spacecraft? Well, it might not happen. Oh, uh, it's just, you know... <sighs> yeah, it's fine. Look, I'll do my best with what I've got, but we've got. I'm, I'm starting again from scratch. It's going to be new... So I'm not listening to your advice anymore, Richard. You've got to listen to me. I'm, you know, I've been in this business for 50 years. Now I'm a boy. And well, you know, you're 73, so it's 23. You weren't a boy. I was, you know, 50, it's over 50 years now, Richard. And, you know, I, 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 a lot of the greats have come up by me. And, uh, you know, I, I think I can help you. I really think you've got something. You think I've got something? I'm 53 years old myself, mate. When, you know, it's a bit late. It's a bit fucking late for me to have something, isn't it? Still doing this shit for nothing. For nothing. How how long till the chat is starting? Even then, it's worth the the honour. Just I'm just getting ready to do it on Twitch. Yeah, you know how to do that, right, Terry? Yeah, I know how to do it because like sometimes it feels like you've you've messed up the technical stuff sometimes. No, no I'm, I'm I'm really ready. I'm just getting ready to press the button. I'll turn. I'll give you a countdown, Rich. I won't say the last two numbers, two and one, and I'll do the countdown because um. Just in case they get heard by the people at home, it's just a little professional trick that uh, we do here. Okay, yeah, I know about that. You don't do you know, five, four, three. You know, I know. I know about that. Oh, don't be surprised when it comes up. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, it's just coming up in ten seconds. We're going to start in ten seconds. Ten seconds, yeah. Ten, ten seconds. You're going to count me down from ten? No. Well, how many seconds is it now? That seven. That was three seconds, was it? I haven't got an exact stopwatch on it, Richard. You know, I know when to press the button. It's five, four, three. What's happened? Why, why aren't you doing the other numbers? What? Just tell me when to go. Is it on? Oh, hello! And uh, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, Twitch of Fun. It's Richard Herring's Twitch of Fun. Um... 
It's uh, we had a couple of weeks off. Uh, we come back refreshed. Uh, and listen, man, I, I I love you guys so much, and I just want to give you the best possible show. I don't care about you know the thing with this. None of this matters for me. I don't care how this goes for me. I don't care if I get a TV show out of it. I don't care if I get money out of it. All I care about is entertaining you guys at home, making you guys happy. You're the you're the two hundred or so people who've stuck with me all through this year and more than this year. It's nearly a whole year of Twitch of fun. Uh, and I'm doing it for you. I want to make it as good as possible. And I've had a think over the over the two weeks off. I just needed those two weeks off. I think you could see I was just the ideas had sort of dried up a little bit, and it felt I felt I feel like some of the stuff I was doing was sort of childish, half thought out, embarrassing. Um, and I just wanted to start again, clean slate. Um, so uh, got a few new characters I've been working on. I hope you're going to enjoy. All the old characters are out. No, we're not going to see any of the old characters in. Um, not even the King of the World. Um, and uh, sorry about the little bit of shadow in the background. I can't do anything about that. That's the Queen. Uh, up on my portrait of the Queen on the wall behind there. If you haven't got a portrait of the Queen on your wall, then anyone on Twitch, Ian Lee, Zaffa Cakes, all you lot, Stevie Martin, where's your picture of the Queen? Or do you not love the Queen? That's what I'm saying. So, you know, this is gonna, it's going to be a new direction. We've got some great new characters. Oh, who's this coming over the hill? I think it's, uh, I think it's a new uh, character. Who is it? Oh, oh, fucking hell. Should have probably t tested this beforehand. <laughs> Are you some kind of magical bird? Can you, who is it? It's Looney Bird. We're sorry that the part of her is green, so she's got caught up in the... In the green screen, haven't you? Are you pulling a face at me? What, can you not speak? Well, how how are we going to communicate? Oh, you can you can beep, can you? Oh, so does that mean yes? But how would you say no? Oh, so it's you can beep once for yes and twice for no. It's Looney Bird, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit. Uh, should have thought of that a little bit uh, see-through because <laughs> quite a lot of Looney Bird is green. But that makes her more mad. What, you're saying yes? Um, and uh, what kind of crazy hijinks have you been getting up to this week? Are you, are you, have you got, are you, are you annoyed, Looney Bird? What, with me? Why, what have I done? Oh, oh, God, oh, oh, Looney Bird. I mean, you can't see because you're see-through. But she said, oh, oh, get off, Looney Bird. What are you doing? <coughs> yeah, that's what, that's, it's Looney Bird. That's, this is Looney Bird. Slightly, the slightly see-through uh, bird. That's what, that, that's, and, um, attack, it sort of attack. Sometimes, oh, what are you doing? That's my, no, that's not a worm, Looney Bird. That's my penis. Oh, <coughs> Yeah, you, you ate my penis instead of a worm. Yeah, you should feel sad about it because it was my penis. You didn't really secretly enjoy it, did you? Okay. Oh, this is rubbish. God, this is rubbish. What? Shut up, Ali. You're not in this anymore. This is just like Rod Hull and Emu. It's rubbish. It's not anything like Rod Hull and Emu. It's, I'm alive for a start. And was Emu uh, semi-transparent? It's like you knew crossed with uh, the that the dot of that off of what other that off of what off of that art or the rod the in the the film of that the the house of the galoons the, the house with the galoons the, the you know the the old man and his wife dies and then they go they fly the house to a special place looking through a bird it looks like that bird you got there this gird. Shut up, I've got a new character, Ali, we don't need you to go. It's like, and also there was a character called Looney Bird in an American TV show in the 1950s and 60s. There wasn't. It's a diff, this is Looney Bird. It's Lo <coughs> Yeah, see, it's Looney Bird and that's how he says yes. And if he wants to say no, what do you do? <coughs> he does it, does it twice. So, you know, that's better than you, isn't it? He's see-through. Well, you know, I didn't do a camera test. He's looking annoyed. Look, he's looking annoyed at you, Ali. Oh, I'm so scared of that. I'm really scared. I didn't come in. We'll come for you. 
Oh, yeah, I'm really scared. Of you. It's just your hand, Richard. It's not my hand. Why would I grab my own penis with my own hand? That would be counterproductive. It just attacked me in the face. It's, it's, it's Looney Bird. It's going to be the main character in the... Let's look at the news, Looney Bird. What do you think about... Um, oh, look, Looney Bird, have you seen the news? Um, I'm doing a couple more gigs at the Clapham Ground. This is the news. Shut up, Ali. This is you thundersizing yourself. It's good job, Looney Bird, see for you can see the thing properly. <coughs> Coming up on Monday, uh, the 14th of June, uh, my guests will be the No Such Thing as the Fish podcast and Izzy Sooty. That's a pretty good lineup. Uh, there's still a few tickets left for that. On the 5th of July, I'm talking to Robin Asquith and the Off Menu Idiots. That is sold out, but worth booking and uh, getting your name down on the waiting list because who knows, according to Michael Gove, uh, everything's going to open again on the 21st of June, so you never know. So if it does, we can sell more tickets. But if you can't get to the theatre, we're doing a live stream of that one. Please do support that. It's £12 for a live stream. Sorry, I said it was £10 in some of my information about it. Uh, and you see both shows for £12 from the comfort of your home. I'm sure you better watch them for a couple of days afterwards as well. And if that works, we'll try and live stream everything. So that's that's good, isn't it, Looney Bird? <coughs> see, Looney Bird's good. She's rather sharp. It's, I haven't just got Looney Bird. I've got loads of new characters I've been working on. <coughs> Shush. Looney, we'll work on... That's a problem, isn't it? I didn't think of the green screen. Uh, here's a new character I've got. This, I've been, uh, my, this is my son's... Um, my son's taken a liking to this one, but this is how I get my son to sleep with this one. Uh, it's uh, it's Marvin the monkey. Hello, Richard. It's me, Marvin the monkey. How you doing, everyone? Are you okay? It's lovely to be here. I love hugs. I love hugging people, and I love to be make people happy. That's all I'm doing. That's very good, Marvin the monkey. Yeah, and I say it night night to Ernie, don't I? I pop around the curtain and he's dead, and I say night night, Ernie. I love you, and he loves me, doesn't he? He does love you, Marvin. Yeah, you know, there's just so many nasty characters in this show. I just thought it would be nice to have a friendly character who didn't swear and wasn't mean and just loved everybody. What, like Kermit the Frog? Shut up, it's not like Kermit the Frog, it's a fucking monkey. It's like monkey from Nina Conti. It's not. It's nothing like Nina Conti's monkey. It's a, it's a monkey, shut up. You, you're you being like the Muppets and yourself, you've been like those guys in the Muppets. Mar hey, it's alright Richard, you don't have to worry. I don't like people not loving me. Maybe if they got to know me, we could be friends. No, I fucking hate you, 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 I hate that monkey. Shut up. I hate you more than the donkey. Well, the donkey's not in it anymore either. Uh, yeah, so, hello everyone out there in TV Iron. I think you're going to agree. We've got a great new lineup for the new series. And, hey, look, I'm not the funniest guy out there, but I'm the most lovable. And if you want a hug, not in a uh, sleazy way. Just a nice, friendly hug. You get in touch, and I'll hug every single one of you. If you can't sleep at night, I'll come around to your house, and I'll pop around the curtain, and I'll say, Hey, it's me, not in the monkey. What are you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, let's go to sleep now. With Ernie, you seem to keep him awake more than get him to sleep. Well, he'll get used to me, Richard. You know, it's not every day a little monkey pops around your dad and says good and starts talking to you and only can't believe that I can talk so well. Well, you know, it's no. I mean, I like it. it's better than Law Fox, isn't it? This is he's nicer than I'm sure and nicer than Law Fox, and I, I'm glad we got it. And you're nicer than that, um, right, Bollock? I'm nicer than right, Bollock. I would never give anyone cancer. In fact, it's on than hand cancer. I would give them a little cuddle and say, come on, it's going to be okay. Well, I've had cancer. Do you want to cuddle, Richard? I mean, yeah, it comes. Oh. Oh, no, it's, it is quite... No, it's not, you know, we've done a lot of... Oh. It's not... You're already soft and nice. It is... We've done a lot of um, stuff on this show. You have, Richard. You've done a lot of unpleasant stuff on this show. A lot of swearing. Uh, I know your nun doesn't like it. Fuck off! Shut up, then. It's, I'm not, I don't mind, Richard. I know those words exist. But I don't use them myself, because I'm not in the donkey. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm all right. 
Uh, see, you hear that? He's rubbish. No one's going to like that. They, they, the people in the, someone in the chat room says he's nice. Jez Keir says, please don't come round to my house. Okay, well, let's shall we look at the news, Richard, together? Well, there's uh, we're doing this uh, Rahalastapur in uh, the Clapham Grand. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I think I'll buy a streaming ticket to that. If that's okay with you, Richard. Yeah, please do. Yeah, you can you can watch it. Why don't you guys all? The beauty is you got one computer. Twelve of you could sit round it. All twelve of the puppets here could sit round and watch it. That's right. We could share it a town each, Richard. You know that's that's what's so fun about it. Hey Richard, are you running a heart marathon? Did I hear? It? That's right, I am. That's uh, it's really nice. You're so much nicer than Ali. He's just always confronting. And yeah, no, I think it's amazing. Like you've just had cancer this year, you've had chemotherapy, and look at you, you're getting all thin. Look, you look very thin, Richard. You're looking lovely. Thanks, I've lost a stone. Oh, that's quite ironic, isn't it? Because you clear stones and you cleared a stone. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, that is true. See everyone, I can do jokes, and uh, no, you're looking great, Richard. I'm glad you. I was so worried about you. Were you? Yeah. Well, when you were in the shop, Richard, I'd always been alive, and I'd always known I was coming to be with you. And well, yeah, when we saw you, Dorney, I was thinking, oh, Richard, will be okay. All the puppets know about you, Richard. They all love you because you do so much work for us, do they? <laughs> so I was worried. I heard you had cancer. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough for some reason. Yeah, no, that's fine. Don't worry. Yeah, and just do a nice little chat. And uh, you don't think you like monkey, but Nina Conti's monkey. I'm nothing like Nina. I've got an American accent, Richard. And look, I've got a different face. And uh, I'm nice. I'm ni I'm the nice that. Uh, and so I hear you're running a half marathon. Yeah, um, is it for yourself? You're getting the money for yourself? No, Ma Marvin, I'm... I'm running it for um, the List Hospital and the Mount Vernon Cancer Centre. The people who ripped out your testicles and then gave you chemotherapy and made you ill. Wow, Richard, you are an what an amazing guy you are. To they they hurt you and you're just giving them some money in return. I'm not saying you're Jesus, Richard. That I don't think even Jesus would do something that nice. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's very nice of you uh, to say that, Marvin. <laughs> but. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not doing this to big up myself. It's just I thought I'd give something back. So, um, is there a just giving page? There is justgiving.com slash monoball m o n o b a w -L, l, uh, and you can donate some money. If you know there's 40 episodes of this, if you think they're worth 10p each, you could go and put four quid in there. If you're a fucking cheapskate, sorry, I'm, sorry, I, I, no, I don't mind other people swearing, Richard. I don't think you should. I think you, that sets your none. You know, why not be nice? Well, I'm being quite nice, aren't I? I'm fucking give, getting, running a half marathon that'll probably kill me with one bollock to help a load of NHS people. Okay, I sense a little anger in your voice, Richard, that uh, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm hearing you and understanding you. I understand you're annoyed and it's okay. Thanks, Marvin. You know, it's not, it's, I think this is better. I think this is, um, we're 20 minutes in, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are 20 minutes in. It's been 20 minutes of gold, Richard. I think this new direction is uh, is it's really it's really doing something. I think people, I think people are gonna really like the new direction, Richard. I think no one's gonna miss. Maybe the king of the world. People will miss him. He was a good guy. No, I don't think they'll miss him. Well, I think they will. And uh, yeah, look. I think I I think I I know I don't want to risk a certain people. I think I've done my time. Then ones that died to go to sleep. Night night. I love you. Come on, give me a hug. Oh, that's right. Come on, that's love. That's a love. I'm so soft, don't I? And uh, I'll leave you for now. That if you like me, kids, let Richard know, and uh, I'll be back as much as you want me to be back. Cause uh, you know I love you guys. I love all of you. Uh, and even the weird ones, I think, you know, maybe if you had a little monkey to love you, you wouldn't be so weird as you are. Okay. Um, no, you know, it's a different, it is a different, it's a different direction, isn't it, Richard? That's the nice thing about it. I'm not like a carrot that says obscenities. No, you're a nice, you're a sweet. Do you think it's a problem that Nina Conti's monkey? No! She didn't come up with the idea of talking monkeys and puppets, did she? She didn't. 
just think like if I come out, if I come out with a monkey, yeah, if I start moving into ventriloquism, yeah, that, no, don't worry, Richard. I'll have a word with Nina. I'll give her a little cuddle. She'll be fine, and I'll cuddle monkey. And they'll all be. It's a bit creepy the cuddling. It isn't, Richard. It's only in your mind. It's kind of creepy. It's not a creepy thing to want to cuddle people and say good night to children. That's not a creepy thing. It's only creepy if you're ignorant, Richard. If you're ignorant. I mean, I don't think you should start doing a Michael Jackson impression because that's, you know, that's confusing on a lot of levels. And it, it, it's, he had a monkey. I'm not being Michael Jackson, Richard. I'm just being myself. That's all I can be. So, all right. Just it's, you know, it's straying into weird territory if you... Richard, don't be ignorant. I am just a monkey, and the monkey loves cuddles. My name's Nardin. It's really nice to meet your acquaintance, Edragon. I hope you are enjoying just a show that's nice. The kids. Okay. All right. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Night-night. Sleep tight. Think, have a little dream without me if you like. Oh, I can, you can put your hand right up there. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> okay, that's good. So we don't need the old cats. We've got new cats. We'll get some uh, uh, drinking uh, Freedom uh, Lager at 0%. I've still had not had an alcoholic drink all year. I think it's over. I think it's gone. Uh, I've got one more. This is actually my, my daughter saw me uh, doing Marvin the Monkey and, wanted, and she loved it. I tell you, when the kids love a puppet, I know it's going to be good. And my daughter came in from her room to see Marvin the Monkey and then got into Ernie's bed because she wanted Marvin the Monkey uh, to... Uh, and then she wanted to... She wanted to work Marvin the Monkey and but then she would sort of attack Marvin the Monkey. It was quite unpleasant to Marvin the Monkey. I didn't mind, Richard. I know you're nice, Marvin. Uh, it's fine, kids, all the kids. I know what they're like. Okay. Uh, it's slightly sinister undertone to Marvin the Monkey. Really not, Richard. That's all in your mind. I'm the nice guy. Um... So she then went into her room and she does have one ventriloquist dummy, uh, sorry, one puppet. Uh, and uh, she wanted me to make him come alive. Uh, and you may, I think we may have featured once before, but here he is. It's another squeaky one. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I just got it in the... Hey, yeah. Oh, hey. What, shall we start again? Your nose comes out. Look, you've got a see-through nose. Yeah, it's a throb, isn't it, Rich? Are you doing a Yorkshire accent? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to do... Hold on. Apples and tears. I'm trying to do a Cockney accent, Richard. <laughs> That's really not a Cockney accent. Okay, well, I sort of did an American accent with uh, Phoebe, didn't I? We just had a sort of American accent. How does a co Apples and pears. Oh, Governor, come up here. Oh, hello, Governor. It's me. And I and, and your daughter named me, didn't she, Richard? She gave me the name. Oh, look, the, your voices come together. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you always knew how to talk, Richard. Uh... My name is Dragon Doneman. It's what? Dragon Doneman. It's what? Your daughter named me, Richard. TV. She said she wanted me to be called Dragon Doneman. Dragon Bone Man. Yeah, that's right. Dragon. Yeah, that's right. Not a lot of people know this, Richard, that uh, my name is Dragon Doneman. And I thought that was quite a clever name for a little kid to come up with. It is pretty good. Dragon Doneman. Dragon Dome, then. That's who I am. Ah, uh, rah. Oh, you're quite fierce. Yeah, I'm the dragon, Richard. Rah, rah. I can squeak as well. Rah. So, you're yeah, Dragon Bone Man. Yeah. And, uh, what's... Well, that's all I've got so far, Richard. And, uh, Dragon Dome, then. It's a good name, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My daughter came up with it. Yeah, it's a good name. And, uh, so, although I had an American accent out the, out, out the gates, I thought Dragon Dome, then, had to be... Uh, cockney, uh, cockney dawn within the sound of the bowdells, Richard, and I'm the dragon, rah, that uh, I can't shoot higher, and I'm not that scary, I'm not too scary, am I, Richard? I'm not as, I'm not, well, you've got a weird, uh, no, invisible nose, yeah, I do have that, Richard, that is true, not a lot of people know that I had uh, a see-through nose, that, uh, ah, it's, it's looking all right, isn't it, it's good. So you got your three new characters. You got and then the um, you got uh, you got who are the first one out the door? Um, oh, well, a loony bird. Oh yeah, loony bird, unforgettable character. Did like he knew? No, not really. 
Is it like the uh, the dirtying up? In what up? The dirtying up. The dirtying up. It's a bit like the turning up. The dirtying up. It's a bit like the dirtying up. And then you got Nardin the monkey, haven't you? He's a nice. He's a nice guy. I hope nothing happens to him, Richard. I hope he doesn't have an accident. Oh, okay. So you're going to be a sort of stereotypical cockney. I hope. I just hope nothing happens to Nardin the monkey. That would be a sad thing, wouldn't it? It'd be a terrible thing. I mean, it's a shame there's so much green in in these puppets. Yeah, it'd be a shame, wouldn't it, if, uh, if they became invisible? All right, you've got, I've got, you've managed to come up with a character as we're going along. We've done 25 minutes. I know it's, you didn't need all those other characters, Richard. It's good enough. Ali's even stopped heckling. Yeah, because it's I've fallen asleep. It's shit. Shut up, Ali. You're not in this anymore. And I, I, I don't need you. I can chuck you. I can burn you if you want. Oh, you can try. So, Richard, shall we uh, have a look at the old uh, London Zoo Ganoos? The London Zoo Ganoos. Yeah, that's uh, the evening news in Cockney Rhyming Slang. Is that right? Yeah. Have a look at the old Ganoos. That's what they say. It's a bit close to news, isn't it, Ganoos? All right, let's have a look at the Choirdoid Tews. The what? The Choirdoid Tews. The what? The Choirdoid Jews. No, Richard, the Choirdoid Tews. Oh, the Quiet Boy Pews, the news. Yeah, it's rock cockney, cockney rhyming slang, Richard. Rah, and the dragon. Um, and no, I think this is good. I think, you know, I think a lot of the other characters in this... Yeah, they weren't that good, were they, Richard? Yeah, no, I'm like lid. Really, uh, you know, it's good his contract's coming to an end. Cocky carrot. No one liked any of that lot. You, can, you, know, you start again. This is a family-friendly one, isn't it? All of them are family-friendly. I don't swear, do I? It's slightly threatening. Uh, Goony Dirt can't, sorry, Looney Dirt can't even speak. And uh, Nardin the Nunky, what a nice guy he is. Old Nardin the Nunky, God blind me. Um, Shall we look at the news? Oh yeah, if you like. Uh, <laughs> well, um, are you equipped to talk about these? Not really, Richard, I'm the dragon. Uh, I'm sli a slightly threatening dragon, uh, I'm just not that threatening because I can't really roar and stuff. Uh, so, uh, do you think the United got rid of the wrong side of this? Do you think United then got rid of your kettle the puppets and got rid of the you? Well, I think I need to be here, don't I? Do you, though? Do you have to be here? I don't know. Rah, rah. Well, you're very frightening. That's, um... Dragon Boneman, he's a dragon. Don't that's a pretty. My daughter's a genius, Dragon Boneman. <coughs> I'm gonna let Ali come back for a little bit just because he's quite he's sulking, and you know, he's an old friend of mine. And you know, you, the thing with him is you can see him on screen. Hello, Thrut fans, it's me. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, you are on the wrong side. Sorry. Uh, it's been a while since I've... I'm winking at it. How are you doing? I... Oh, I'm... Hold on. I'm cheeky knee. I'm cheeky, I'm cheeky knee, I'm cheeky knee. Hello, everyone. It's me. Aside, it is me. All right, this, it's good to see you again. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgotten what I did. Well, you apparently you shout from the... Yeah, I liked all the new puppets, Richard. They were very good. Aside, they were not good. They were rubbish. They were very boring. Um, well, they're better than you. I disagree, Richard. You know, I did get this back to the uh, day six. To the, the day six. And, uh, you know, me and you looking at the news. Yeah, it's good you tried some new stuff. That uh, just stick with the old day. It's not king of the world. I hate that king of the world. Not the donkey. I hate that donkey. I hate that fucking donkey. What a cunt. Look. It was a, we just had a nice thing where we just had a nice moment where we had a, something friendly. You no, know, the whole family could have watched this show until you came along. Fuck them. And, you know, that's... I'm just trying to broaden my appeal. Not for me, for the people watching. I want them to be able to go to school tomorrow or work or just sit in their pants on their own and feel proud that they support this to go to their friends or just people they sitting on next to the bus and go, I watch Richard Herring's Twitch of Fun, Ali and Herring's Twitch of Fun, and it's a great show, and you should watch it too. I'm really proud to be one of the first people to watch it, 
I don't want them going away going, oh, I'm ashamed, there was a 129-year-old swearing puppet just chatting, jizz wank, jizz wank, is that what you get, yeah, I, I just thought of that, but it was not very, uh, otter Cox. Well, that's more imaginative, um, and you know, that's all I want, so it's a shame you've come in and ruined it, because I think Marvin the monkey, hey Rich, yeah, it's no, it's the, I'm ready with a hug, do you want one Rich? I'm just drinking some uh, non-alcoholic beer. Oh, it's the comedy. What's you've changed so much? You've been on the rowing machine today. I've been on the rowing machine. I bought a rowing machine and I've been on it uh, three times. Uh, that's two hundred and something pounds ago now. It's getting. It's really becoming economical. Yeah, I've been running twice this week. I'm on a calorie controlled diet. It's absolutely pathetic. Look at me. Look how different my face is. I'm losing that little. I've got to get rid of that. Uh, that it. And then if that goes. Then I can do this job very well. Well, I, you know, you keep the beard, it doesn't matter. I got a beard, I call her Sally. <laughs> what, because you're, what, you're saying you're actually gay? I wouldn't mind if I was Richard. That is fine. Okay. Um, shall we have a look at the news for old time's sake? I said those, so, Richard. I, you couldn't do, you couldn't do a whole show, could you, with those three new characters? I could try, you couldn't do it. You're not good enough. Let's have a look at the news. Um, another one I wanted to talk to you about this. This is Nick Dixon um, on stage in California in 2016. He claims he was snubbed for a gig because he's a white, straight, able-bodied man. Yeah, Richard. You can't... They, I feel sorry to the white, able-bodied men because they can't get any work, can't they? They just... It's, they can't get any work anymore. His political correctness gone mad. And... Uh, look, he's a funny guy. Look at his face. He should the he should the any gig he wants he should be able to have. That's what I believe. Well, you know the thing is with this, even if it were true, which I'm not convinced it is. Uh, there's been a lot of years go by where, you know, with female comedians, ethnic comedians, you know, could certainly not get on a bill with another female comedian or another ethnic comedian. Or a ventriloquist couldn't get on. You know, if there was a ventriloquist, you'd only be allowed one ventriloquist. Yes, on the on a bill. Yes, and you know there was a lot of lineups that were white, straight, able-bodied men. And uh, even if it was being skewed unfairly, I think it is. Richard, look, this man Nick Dixon says it's. I call him Dick Nixon. Do you? It's, it's, what, Richard Nixon. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it through. Um, uh, even you know he he's clearly he's been snubbed for a gig. Yeah, but I'm I'm saying you know is um, any of those other comedians will have been snubbed for gigs for years and years. So it wouldn't be a bad thing if it was happening. But if you look at most comedy lineups, they're still white men. And the thing is, if you want to stick out and if you want to, if you're putting together a comedy show, yeah, like I'm I am doing here. Yeah, you don't have any women on this show, do you? I've got uh, Gwendolyn Fly. She hasn't been in it for ages. Uh, Sally, yeah. She's sort of the promiscuous female character. Not very right on, is it? Um, Hoary Horse might be a woman. Yeah, I don't know. Some the Lan Nevesair might be a cocky carrot. Could be. I mean, some of these, a lot of these things, are, you know, don't have sexual organs. Yeah, that's true. But I don't. I'm, well, I do. I'm tacking a big tatty nasty cock down here, and Adam, I can tell you, I'm linking at it. Um, I'm linking at it. Yeah, well done. My cock, I mean. Yeah, we got it. Um, but you know, I don't think that that is happening. But it, but if you're going to put together an interesting bill, you can't. Like, if you're having puppets, that's why I've brought in the polite monkey because I've got loads of horrible right wing, basically white. I mean, the fox isn't white, but Prince Andrew, you, me, all right wing characters, and you've got to have a balance, right? You've got to have a little balance, otherwise the whole night's the same. So if you are white, straight and able-bodied, then you've got to try and stand out in some way by doing something different. What, like doing a ventriloquist act with a load of racist tuppets? Yeah, like that. You know, Nick Dixon should try doing something like that. Well, he shouldn't do this because I'm doing this. But he should try and do something that will make him stand out so he doesn't get snubbed because the promoters are going to put on the most varied bill they can for the sake of the audience. They don't want ten blokes coming up and talking about you know, airplane food or whatever, do they? So you've got to be... You know, I've seen a little bit of Nick's act. He's on Britain's Got Talent. He's not bad. He's obviously doing all right. He's playing in California there. He knows how to hold a microphone near his mouth. He's all right. 
But, you know, the outlet, are you prepared to give your place up in panel shows, the women and ethnic comedians? Well, I would be if I had any places on those things, but um, let's say I've done that already. Let's say that I've <laughs> made that decision. But I think it's fair enough. I think if it's harder for white men to get on TV, that's not a bad thing. But there's still a lot of white men on TV. It just, I think he's probably a good comedian, this guy. And it's a shame that it just makes him look a bit like... he. People are just going to go, you're just not getting on because you're shit, mate. And that's not true. There's lots of people who are great comedians who can't get on TV, male and female. And I don't think we've yet got to the point where the white, straight, able-bodied men are in a minority. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they're the minority on TV. I think there's plenty of them going. Yeah, well, fair enough, Richard. You're doing a lot of great work here on Twitch of Thun to overcome that sort of vice. Look, it's my own show. Look, Nick Dex Dixon can set up his own fascist show on Twitch and do whatever he wants and then he doesn't have to worry I think that's a bit much to call him the fascist I'm just saying he could do that, whatever he wants to do um, oh yeah that's a good point I've got one testicle now so that is my, I am not able bodied anymore um, I, I'm no longer fully male so um, you know I'm just saying to any panel I, you, I can't give up my place on panel shows because I'm representing the one bollocked population who aren't quite men and aren't quite women um, and uh, who, who live a very uh, a life where they get a, there's a lot of prejudice people call them wombles what, like wombles or like wombles Wom wombles they, look, the, the chat room is just full of people being rude about me well yeah it's good well good luck to Nick Dixon I hope you do alright son you look like a good lad Are you uh, you did well on Britain's Got Talent so best of luck to you well, I, you know, stop complaining like a snowflake. Um, let's see what's next. Uh, oh, this is, you know, I'm glad that Marvin the Monkey isn't here for this bit. Swearing is on the rise, but parents still don't want kids hearing it, report finds. Well, they're silly fuckers, aren't they? Uh, look, my mum doesn't like it when you swear. You were made by my great granddad. Yes, I know, but uh, yeah, there's, uh, it's funny to see a puppet swearing, Richard, and nobody can say it isn't. It's definitely funny. Uh, you know, isn't it a bit Route 1? Isn't the kind of thing... No, shouldn't we go for something more sophisticated? Uh, should we uh, have a stunk novel? Should we have a what? A, why did you choose that word over all the words you could choose? Stunk double. A stunt double. No, stunk double. Stunk skunk double. Stunk skunk Stunk, stunk, like I stunked up. You stunked up. You stunked up the place. Why did I choose stunk double? Stunk double. Stunt double. Just, I'm just hearing stunt double. Like a double. A double. Semen. A semen. All right. So another word for semen that sounds like tunk. Another word for semen that sounds like t dunk. You're being deliberately obtuse. How can we can say obtuse? I don't know. I don't understand how some of the words dry and blessed come out fine. I don't understand it, Richard. Okay. Were you saying spunk bubble? Yes, I was saying spunk bubble. You knew that I was saying spunk bubble. Have you seen who has recommended another? Shut up. Uh, what are we talking about? With it's all right. That matters. If we're talking about swearing, I've got all, a lot of these stories on my uh, iPad. I wonder if that one's on there. Um, I've been to the optician this week. Um, I need uh, 2.2 glasses, reading glasses now, rather than uh, 1.5. Bought these for six pairs of these for 20 quid. Because that's the kind of guy I am. No, it's not. We've got nothing in it there. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with swearing. And uh, uh, I would encourage children to swear. If any children are watching, are drawn in by the loony bird. And ducking nard in the fucking monkey. Don't call him that. It's all right, Richard. It's okay. You got are you Irish now, Martin? No, I'm not an an American, Richard. And everything's okay. Are you Indian now, Mark? It's easier when I'm here, Richard, to talk. And I actually that I'm just under the table. I know I can hear you. You're, getting, you're being picked up by the mic. And I just want to say it's okay. It's okay if other people swear. I'm not in control of them. But it's swear words are the tools of fools, Richard. Well, perhaps they are. Um, You've got something in common with Peter Dibdin there. 
Uh, let's have a look at another new story, then uh, maybe we'll move on. Oh, yeah, we've got uh, Noel Gallagher talking about um, Prince Harry. Prince Harry's in. That's oh, another swearing. Sorry, Marvin Monkey. It's okay, I just don't need to apologise. Um, Harry's an effing woke snowflake. Yeah, he fucking is. He's not a snowflake. He, look, Noel Gallagher has got upset. I've got this one here. Right, let's have a look at this one. This is from Noel Gallagher. Has said he sympathises with Prince William over Prince Harry's criticism of the royal family, as he knows what it's like having a younger brother shooting his mouth off. It seems to me that uh, Noel Gallagher's problem isn't with Prince Harry really. He just doesn't like the idea of younger brothers having an opinion, uh, and is slightly, he's slightly uh, making this his own problem, isn't he? Um, he called Harry a fucking woke snowflake and said he comes across as a fucking asshole. I think there's all lots of asterisks, isn't that? Following the Duke's recent high-profile interview, Gallagher, 54. I mean, fucking, who would listen to a 54-year-old? Seriously, it's no stranger to family fallouts. Having been at loggerheads, loggerheads, yep, with his younger brother Liam ever since he left Oasis. Um, he says, "I feel that about Prince William. I feel that lad, fucking lad's pain. He got a fucking younger brother shooting his fucking mouth off with with s, s apostrophe. That is, I guess, it's shit." I don't know why it's two letters. That is just so unnecessary. I'd like to think I was always the William. So he's just he's making it about himself. Um, there's, n there's nothing wrong with being caring about other people. It's a shame. It's a shame. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, Harry and Meghan are in a bit of trouble because uh, they've, they've named their child Lilibet after... Elizabeth, that is disgusting, Richard. She is our queen, and they should not name the child after her. Why not? Well, they should ask her permission. When do you ever ask anyone's permission to name a child after them? You should do it if it's the queen. Well, I think it's a nice... I think the problem with this is if they hadn't named the girl after the queen, they'd have said, disgusting, why haven't they named the baby after the queen? And because they have named after the queen, disgusting, they've named it after the queen. I genuinely think that they write two articles, they've got everything ready, and whichever one... In... Lilibet is a stupid name. That's the only reason... I mean, it's fine to give it to a baby, because a baby can't talk, but... Hello, Lilibet. Lilibet, just 40-year-old... I mean, I suppose the Queen's 96, or whatever it's called, Lilibet. Um, shall we talk to Prince Andrew about it? Yes, why not, Richard? Everyone wants to see the old gang back together. Well, it's quarter to... Nine now, nearly. Well, you shouldn't have done all that shit with the street the new puppet, should you? I just thought I'd try and ring in the changes. You came back though, didn't you? You couldn't escape. All right, here we go. God save the Duke of York. His skin is as dry as chalk. Ignore all the talk when I. Hello, Richard. Nice to, there's a, nice to see it. you got a picture of the night and that there. Yeah, it's always there. Is it? It's always there. I, I just, I always have that portrait. It's very nice of you. Nice to see old nun in her younger days. That's uh, her in 1952, I think. Yeah, she looks good. Not because she's young. She's my nun. I don't know. I didn't mean like that. She just looks nice. I couldn't have done anything there anyway because I was in... Uh, Another care. You were in mother care. Yeah, at the time I was in another care. What, in 1952 before you were born? I was in uh, the Prince of Edinburgh's scrotal sack and so could not have been uh, culpable for anything that was done. So, yes. Hello, everyone. Nice to be back again. Uh, had a good two weeks away. I went to Centre Parks. You went to Centre Parks, yeah. With the family? No, on my own. Was that not a bit weird? Mm, I like cycling around. Uh, saying hello to other families. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about... You alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How do you feel about... Um, uh, Willie, uh, sorry, uh, Harry and uh, Meghan naming their child after 
I think it's the most disgraceful thing that has ever happened with a child in the whole of the royal family history. What, worse than... I mean, let's be kind to you. What do you mean? Um, worse than King Richard killing those princes and burying them in the Tower of London? Yes, I think it's worse than that. Because he, at least he called them by their names when he killed them. He didn't then go, I'm going to call you at the... the Queen Elizabeth II, well he wouldn't have been able to do that would he, you know, it's her personal nickname, it belongs to her, Lilibet, yes, don't think, I mean it's a bit like Will I Am isn't it, what do you mean, it's like, it's a bit embarrassing for a grown person to be called Lilibet, no, don't you dare, how dare you, how fucking dare you, don't swear at me Prince William, uh, Prince Andrew, I don't dare, don't you call me Prince William, I wouldn't cheat on my wife, no, people don't know about that. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, and didn't you cheat on your wife? I don't think so. No, I was in... Um, I was taint in uh, Guatemala. We... <laughs> at the time. Yeah, okay, so you can't have cheated on your wife. That's fine. Um, that's what That's what he said. I don't know what he was... I don't know what he was talking about. That was all him. If you want to get in trouble, it's... The Duke of York. What were we talking about? Uh, the, I have forgotten. Okay. We lost our thread a little bit, didn't we? It's the worst thing that's happened to a child in the whole of history and to, involved in the royal family. And uh, I think they should be ashamed. And uh, though I hope they will carry on doing stuff because uh, it does really take the heat off me, doesn't it? It really does. It really takes the heat off you. Yes. It really, takes, it really takes the heat off me. Anyway, I just wanted to come in and say hello, everyone. I'm the Grand Old Duke of York. And, uh, you know. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And, uh, yep. Yeah, saying we lost our thread in the middle of that. It was a shame. Yeah, yeah, you lost your thread as well, haven't you? I've lost my thread. You lost your thread. It's going to happen. We're just having a chat, Prince Andrew. You know. Yep. Yeah. And uh, it's lovely to do that. And you know, I think we can let bygones be bygones. You can let bygones be bygones. I said bygones be bygones. You did say bygones quite well. And uh, there's no point in dredging up the past, is there, when there's so much in the present that needs sorting out. So let's move on. Let's just be rude about Trent Harry. And there's an end on it. Thank you very much. It's lovely to see you. My pleasure. Thank you for having me, Richard. Goodbye. Um, I guess we should talk to this fella as well. Let's let's get a couple of these guys in. We'll do some birthdays in a second. I, I'm not going to go on for ages because, uh, you know, there's a life to live out there, isn't there? He created life but is the harbinger of death His heart is made of cancer, he's got very spermy breath He didn't honour the ball sack, so now he's up and left The pet are cleft He's left, the left bereft He's vitriolic And a hyperbolic He's carbolic And a symbolic dolic He's diabolic E And a right dolic do you think this is a healthy way to process this? Hooray! Northern, Northern! How's about that? Hello! Eee! On the right, Dollar, can I? Ho ho ho! On the right, Dollar, how you doing? Ah! Uh, now then, now then, eh, eh, eh! How's about that then, guys and gals? Alright, let's go. Oh, uh, it's me, right, Dollar, on the right, Dollar, Condor. How are you feeling, Richard? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, are you? How's, the, how's your. Testicular sack. Well, you know, it's fine. Everything's settled into the middle. I think it looks, you know, it's depleted. Yeah, oh, there it is. You haven't got me in there. Are you padding things out? I haven't. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, well, no, no, I'm fine. I've been... I had a bit of a scare with uh, what turned out to be a lipoma. What's that? It's, a, it's like a, just a collection of fat cells. Oh, dear. Did you think it was cancer, Richard? I did think it was cancer, so, you know, I was a bit scared. Oh dear, I hope you don't get cancer. <laughs> e on the right, Dollock. Um, but you know, I there's a lot of positives have come out of what you've done to me. I know you've tried to... I'm just trying to get some hair off you. That's all right, the, the, the hairy Dollock. Um, 
I know you've done this to try and attack me for some reason. Yeah, well, I don't know why you would try and bring me down. You know, I was the vessel that carried you. Turns out I don't need you, does it? Which I can do quite well on the own. Thank you very much. Gee, and the right dollar, and the right dollar. My career is going a lot better than yours, is it? Yeah. What, you're sitting up here? It's still better than what you're doing. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, you're feeling all right. I'm feeling good. I've got. I've lost a lot of weight, yeah, because you've got cancer. No, because I've been dieting, exercising. I'm, I've got fit. I'm going to... What has happened, because you did this to me, yeah, you, I've, um, I'm going to try and raise as much money as I can for cancer charities, yeah, and... What that will mean is that I'll get so much money into cancer charities that cancer will be eradicated. Yeah. And so you giving me cancer will actually, in the end, be responsible for cancer being cured. No, it might do. So that's because I'm running this half marathon. Justgiving.com slash monoball. If you want to give, don't give anything to him. You won't run it. It'll be like Jimmy Sutherland. That's on ticking it up and taking it into the end. I won't. I'm going to run it. I'm going to run all the way. It's uphill and downhill. It's a, it's a very hilly course at Nebworth I'm doing in November. And uh, you, thinking you could attack me, you've only made me stronger. And also, I'm going to make sure cancer never happens to anyone ever again. Well, that's very noble of you, Richard. Noble, get it? Noble. Noble. I just thought of that just now. It was good. But, <laughs> very noble... I have got one ball. It's very wonderful of you. But uh, I don't think you're going to cure cancer. And uh, and I still ruined your life. And I'm going to haunt you like the ghost of Jimmy Savile. And I'm going to take you down. I'm going to get your other ball. That's going to be the other cancer too. They're going to be a double act. And like I had the one you've ever worked with. They'll go on to be more successful than you. You'll be stuck up there in your attic. No ball. No career. Looking at me and like your other cancerous ball on television. Having the time of our lives. In jacuzzi supermodels. Well, I don't mind. I'm happy. I'm, you know, I've, I've realised through everything that's happened this year. I've realised family's more important than work anyway. And more than, than that sort of success. I've reconnected with my kids I've got Marvin the monkey going with my son I've got the dragon bone man it's you know the dragon bone man yeah it's a good pun apart from the bone man that you, your daughter's a fucking idiot oh you're on the right dollar can't on the right dollar don't be rude about my daughter she's a fucking trick she's not funny if you think she's funny she thinks she's clever she's not Richard she's just as stupid as all the other little kids out there whose parents think there's something special well that can't be true can it some of them must be special so some of them must be better than the others on average. That's just mathematics. So you can't say all parents uh, think their kids are great and they're all wrong. Some some of them are definitely wrong, but there must be some who are right that their kids are better than the other kids and my kids are better than the other kids. So you're wrong. You're deluded, Richard. You're mad. And you've only got one bollock. And your, your career is down the dust thing. And you... You were carried by Stuart Lee all those years. Well, you, I'm carrying you literally now. you Look, that was... Stuart Lee was 20 years... I've worked with Stuart for over 20 years. I've still managed to keep on working. I'm doing better, really, without him. You're not on telly, are you? No. What? Maybe being on telly isn't all the be on a lend off. Yeah, you really didn't want to be on telly, did you? That's... Shut up. I'm, you know, I'm doing okay... I'm doing interesting stuff. You know, I think, like, yeah, some of the stuff I've done on Twitch are fun, like you, is rubbish. But when people see that loony bird thing, yeah, that's going to, you know, the numbers have gone up. There was there was like 220 people to be in. That's 260. So, you know, it's going all right. And, I, you know, I'm, it's inventive. I'm like Bo Burnham. This is like Bo Burnham. This is like Bo Burnham special, except I haven't, used all special effects and working hard to make it really good I've just improvised it and done hours and hours of it and I've got all sad and cried at the end because I'm alright I'm I'm fine it's a bit weird carrying this on after lockdown though isn't it well it is lockdown still sort of going on yeah that you're going to carry on after lockdown it's a very much a lockdown show I would say if you carry on doing it out of lockdown you're just going to look mental well I don't agree I think this is I think this is 
I think this is the best thing I've ever done. Do you? You said that about stone clearing and snooker. Well, I think those are the best things I've ever done as well. Okay. You're a, you're a fucking idiot. You're a right bollock. Yes, I am. That's who I am. Eee, I'm the right bollock. Now then, now then. Are you, I mean, are you the ghost of Jimmy Savile? Is that, I mean, it's confusing. Why do you why do you puppets all have to confuse things by adding in elements that just make it that this could be on TV if you weren't doing Jimmy Savile now then now then because without Jimmy Savile you're just a disembodied testicle cancerous testicle that I'm talking to uh, and having an existential crisis with but with the Jimmy Savile thing it just makes this whole thing tasteless well I don't want you to do well do I anyway see you next week on the right Dalek show e on the right Dalek. Look, I want to do one thing with this guy. When it comes to picking winners, he's the tosp. From the latest block of buster to the top of the posp. He's a wasp on the wall when the latest banger drosp. What's the buzz with Brian Wasp? I know, Terry, I said I was going to get rid of some of the characters. I don't think that this, this show needs is more characters, Richard. I think it, there's too many characters already. You thought it's more characters. Well, I don't agree, I don't agree with you. Terry, are you going back to the fucking wasp? Don't swear at me, Terry. I thought you were a Baptist. I still swear sometimes. You just, I just got cross with you. I just got cross with you. I'm bringing back the wasp. Well, I've got a good thing to talk about with the wasp. It's Brian. You can't even remember the, the wasp, what his accent is. I know, but it doesn't matter. It's insulting. To who? Well, to wasps and the audience. Which is it more insulting to, Terry? Wasps or the audience? It's not insulting to wasps. Well, I don't think it is. I think it's insulting to the audience, and I think that's fine. Here he is. It's Brian Wasp. Bzzz. Hello, it's me, Brian Wasp. Bzzz. Is that your original voice? Yes. Bzzz. Bzzz. Are you the original Brian Wasp? Of course I am. Bzzz. What about the Brian Wasp who fell apart in bits? Bzzz. It was still me. You know, you are a dead wasp. Bzzz. Son would say that. And you're not even the original dead wasp, as I am. Doesn't that make you feel sad that you're just that you're both dead, and you're you're not even the unpopular character? Zzz, no, it doesn't. It does. Why are you the new duck? Because there's some uh, wasp-based news. Killer Asian hornets set to hit alarming record levels as pests hit UK shores. Um, let me see. I can't do that because I've got to need my finger. Uh, let me just see if that's one of the stories I... Yeah, here it is. I'll tell you the story. Why are you telling me this story? Because it's about, it's about you, your lot. How dare you? How dare you? I'm not a hornet. Listen to this. Experts have warned the rising number of Asian hornets, which could be lethal to someone allergic, is slightly alarming. There's a record. 63 hornets have been spotted in the UK this year. It's a big story. It's a big... Uh, Hornet base. I'm not a hornet, Richard. I'm the wasp. Why are you including me? This is highly offensive. What do you mean it's the same base? You're a yellow and black striped flying. This is so offensive. You get me on to talk about these. You get me on to talk about hornet. I'm the wasp, Richard. And anyway, my job was to do week reviews of what's been going on in the world and do the reviews of things, not to talk about the news and to talk about. Uh, other insects it is incredibly offensive to wasps. That's what Terry said. You wouldn't have heard, and that's amazing. You both said exactly the. I think it's offensive to the audience. No, it's offensive to wasps, and I had no further thought this. I quit. I'm not going to be on this show anymore. Good night. Well, I'm glad you're gone because you know I was confused about who you were. The 63 queens have been discovered, 38 by members of the public, and 25 caught in traps spread around the island of it's in Jersey. Yeah, it's not that big a problem. It's a long way away. You know, the Nazis got to Jersey, didn't they? But they didn't get any further. So I think this, if we can deal with the Nazis and just keep them in Jersey, we can keep some hornets in Jersey. That is, I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. I'm just being law fox about it all. Um, let's do the birthdays and then we can maybe go home. It's been all right. It's been an interesting, I'm glad to be back. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's been quite good. Let's so we've got a few birthdays because we had some time off, so let's get that going and uh there's a donkey. Hooray. You've lived another year and you haven't even died. Though cancer may be secretly creeping deep inside. If you
you think that's worth a party, your brain's also going wonky. Let's get an E or, or a kick from the reluctant birthday donkey. Yeehaw, yeehaw, why can't I die? Yeehaw, yeehaw, why can't I die? Oh, yeehaw. Hello there, l'anniversaire est dans la maison. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je voudrais coucher à ta ce soir. I don't know what you're saying. It's a good job I don't speak French, because uh, that sounded like it might be rude. Please, why can't you kill me? Let me die. No, it's very important we have you. We've got three birthdays to get through this week. Um, I think one of them we could have done next week, but there we go. Uh, first up is, um, this is a email from Joel Jarman. Uh, and this is for his friend... Matthew Winston, I'm guessing from that. I was wondering if you wish my good friend Matt a happy birthday on your podcast. He's been a massive fan since Fist of Fun and is 40 years young on May the 31st. It was a little while ago. It's a very nice picture. They've taken my... Um, oh, fuck, I'm 40 poster and stuck uh, someone else's head on. But he looks quite like me, so it's quite disarming. And I like the way they've made the Matthew Winston work uh, on the top. Um, we both saw the Oh Fucking 40 show at the Frog and Bucket in Manchester some time ago. Yeah, all right, don't, it was 14 years ago. Don't knock it. Uh, he didn't want to send in a card himself because he was worried you'd take the piss. So I'm sending one instead should stop, me sending one instead should stop that, definitely. Um, I mean, it's sli slightly tragic that this guy has based his whole life on me. He's even wearing the same shirt as me. Oh, he might just be, that might be my shirt. Anyway, it's original. It's an original design. Aside, it's not. But at least I didn't have to Photoshop the hands, as his are very small as well. Uh, well, happy birthday. 40 years old. No! Uh, 40 years old there, uh, Matthew Winston now. The well over 40. 40 and 10 days. Uh, let's do uh, 40 Eeyores for Matthew Winston. He looks like the kind of idiot who would... He looks. I mean, that is like me if I'd been bashed around with an ugly stick. And, uh, you know, if I hadn't just been on a diet. Uh, look at me, and if my hair was still brown. When I was 40, that's what that's based on. I think it's me. Am I asked, wishing myself a happy birthday? Oh, I wish I was 40. I'd do anything. Come on, do your eels. Hurry up, there's a lot to get through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Halfway there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save some energy because there's two more to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did that day, Matthew? I was dead. Matthew Winston. Richard Herring face double. Uh, this one I think we could have saved till next week, but, you know, do send them in. I've got one for next week already, but... Um, that I'm reading out today, but do keep your birthdays coming in, herring967 at gmail.com. You know, people pay 50 quid for stuff like this on Cameo. This one is uh, for Terry Tezza, Tezballs Westgate. Uh, it's from Jamie Smith. She's uh, He says, could you wish her a happy 40-something birthday for the 15th of June? He doesn't know how old she is. I'm going to guess 49, he says, as that fully maximises the birthday potential without tipping into 50s and complete offensiveness. She would absolutely love a combination of kicks and jumps from the reluctant and less reluctant birthday donkey. Imagine that I've photoshopped a king of the world and Ali into this and other various characters. I mean, that's laziness. That's very lazy. I'm going to start weeding out people like you, Jamie Smith. She's a devout rap fan, and as you can see from the pilgrimage made in the attached photo for the criminally unattended live self-playing snookerizing. That's why I'm wearing a, uh, a waistcoat. There's also an A Ottoman A Ottoman t-shirt under a, t a coat. So to recap, please may I request a birthday shout out for whichever donkey has the joie de vivre or the opposite of that in French for Terry. I'm at the pub. Sorry if it comes across as more demanding than usual, but it, it, there is a, if there's a taskmaster champion who can deliver it, it's you. I've asked Catherine Ryan, and she could not give a fuck. Fair play, really. Thank you very much, Jamie. Okay, do you guys want to do kicks and jumps together? No! Yeah, yes, Richard. I would love to do le jumping. Le jumping. Yes. We. Oui. Okay. Un, two, three, trois. You did two there. Catch her then. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, dix. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Disney, 
Twenty. Twenty-one. Ninety-one. You've done two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Thirty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Quarante. And in quarantine. Yeah, not bad, mate. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Why is it? Why are you struggling to count in your own language? I don't know. Je ne sais pas. That's enough. We definitely got there somewhere. Happy birthday, Terry. Uh, thank you for coming to all those gigs. I've seen you many times. Um, the snooker was good, wasn't it? Remember when we could go out and do snooker? And finally, here's one more. We'll do a magic. I don't know if Chris Evans has done a magic button. I don't know if I need to put my uh, headphones on. This is from Hannah Robertson. Uh, I turned 35 on the 2nd of June, although it looks like I'm just sending a card made for myself by, by, for, by myself for myself. My good friend Catherine actually has the same birthday as me, although she's turning 34. The other thing we have in common, other than our birthday, is that we are both the only people that we have ever met who've ever heard of Richard Herring. And we bonded <laughs> at university over shared memories of watching To Woman Ranger. To Woman Ranger. Stop saying that, you people down there, as children. Neither of us has been sure up until that point that it wasn't just a crazy dream. My God, you must have been young. So that was 20. I was... You must have been under 10. Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus. Uh, Catherine is more of an avid and stone clearing listener at the moment, but I'm slowly introducing her to the brilliant Sideways Look at the News, which is Twitch of Fun. Thanks a lot for the entertainment you've provided us over the years. Well, I don't know which one's Catherine and which one is Hannah, but there, there they are. Hello, Catherine and Hannah. It's a beautiful card. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hand drawn, none of your tat. Beautiful stuff. L L Law Fox looking particularly good. Brian Wasp there as well. Fantastically good. Let's see if there's. I'll just have the headphones ready just in case. Um, you know, you them. Do you know Terry? Do you know what's? Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I Lee and Chris aren't talking. Okay, I'm guess he's annoyed that you've sort of taken the producer credit. Let's see if there's. A, there might not be anything. Ooh, is this what happened last week? No, I think this is new. Wow. I mean, it's lazy. It's like, oh, wow, I like that. Wow. Yeah, I think that's all it's going to be. I'm trapped. Help. This is like an episode of Sapphire and Steel. Help. I'm trapped in the television. Let me, Sapphire and Steel, come and help me. Ah, why? Why? There we go. That was lots of fun, wasn't it? So, um, didn't need the headphones. Ah, oh, little cocky carrot's been sitting there on the desk the whole time. Richard, why aren't you tugging me in the show anymore? Woohoo! Because, you know, I want to move on. I want to try... I look, I, I've been here all the time. Look, I'm leaving that picture. Please let me be in. I've got nothing for you this week. Woohoo! Did someone say I've got nothing for you? It's not, doesn't, it's not a double entendre. Sex? No. If it was about sex, it would be saying I don't want to have sex with you. Did somebody say sex? Yeah, I did, but that doesn't count. Oh, I just... I just want to be a part of the show. You don't have to put me in my own deal. You don't have to play my theme tune. Let's play a theme tune. I feel sad about you. Did somebody say theme tune? He tunes? looks like a ten inch penis crossed with Ed the Duck. He thinks he is the greatest and he doesn't give a damn. He's God's gift to vegetables and he's extremely phallic. What a fucking fucker! It's Cocky Carrot. Yeah, it was nice to see that theme tune, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. Have you come to terms with the fact that you're not a carrot? I am a carrot. I am a cocky carrot. Did somebody say cocky carrot? Woohoo! Um, you're not. You're resin made to slightly resemble a penis. Did somebody say penis? No, I said penis. Penis. You're just resin coloured in orange, a bit of green at the top with some googly eyes, one of which has been slightly impacted. Because you've been treated badly. I can still see perfectly, Richard. I'm fine. Okay. Don't look at me. 
stop looking at me. I'm fine. I mean, is this enough a man just holding up? You don't get this on Bo Burnham's special, do you? It's not that different to what happens on Bo Burnham's special. To be fair, yeah, there is quite a bit of him just holding stuff up and not saying anything. The other thing is he's quite handsome and talented. He is very talented. Why didn't you do some songs, Richard? Oh, I've been stuck inside all this time. And I'm going a bit crazy. I'm talking to a carrot that looks like a penis. And I wish I could go outside. Do you do look like the other one? And there's, you know, if they've been stuck inside the 60, 70 years. All right, it's a good, no, it's in a good special. You should watch it. You should watch that. Right, I think we're going to call it a day. Just time to see uh, the big star of today's show. Is the Goonie Bird. So the Looney Bird. Hello, how you doing? What are you looking at? What? What's wrong? Oh, oh. That's what everyone wanted to see. I know that's what everyone's been calling out for. So, all right. I nearly genuinely forgot. Hey, it's me and the king of the world. I like to be the king of the world. I jumped around because I'm the king of the world. And don't forget I'm the king of the world. Because I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Hello, everyone. It's me. I'm the king of the world. Really, is this all we're going to... I'm the king of the world. Look, we've come up with these beautiful new characters. Marvin the monkey. So much depth to him already. Uh, the Michael Caine... Uh, whatever that thing was, dragon, dragon, bone man. Oh, yeah, he's the king of the world, though, is he? I'm the king of the world! Really, you know, you've probably been in half the episodes. And, yeah, and we need some development. This this is, you're one of the reasons why I had to have two weeks off, because I just can't face just something that just doesn't even go anywhere. Do what you need, it doesn't go anywhere, is it? I'm the king of the world, it doesn't need to go anywhere, because I'm the king of the world. Ah, and the king of the world, and the king of the world. And the king of the world. You see the queen back there? Yeah, she's the queen. She's not the king of the world, is she? She's the queen of the UK. How's your head doing? Uh, it's fine, Richard. Look, oh, oh, it's still on. It's not coming up, my friend. Anyway, see you next time on the King of the World show. Uh, uh, the, the king of the world. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm the king of the world. Oh, uh, I'm the king of the world. Oh, look after me, because I'm the king of the world. Don't break my rules, because I'm the king of the world. Don't do... Um, don't do a, re re do a revolution against me, because i got all the armies in the world. And uh, uh, I'm the king of the world. Uh, 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 uh. I'm the king of the world. Hey everyone, it's me, Norton the Donkey. I uh, hope you enjoyed my show. I really loved meeting you all. I hope to see you again. You're talking shit, night. Shut up, Ali. I'm just trying to do my job. We're all working on the same team here. Ali, I think we should just be polite to each other. I don't want to be polite to you. I think you're a dick. Look, that I understand you think I'm a dick, Ali. The, the thing is, I'm not a dick. I'm a nice guy. And I... Why don't we just have a hug fuck off? If you touch me, I'll bite your fucking nose off. Well, that's fine. It's been lovely to be here, everyone. And, uh, I just want to say, you know, what? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a Michael Jackson song to sing. Look, don't do a Michael Jackson song. It's just confusing and offensive to bring Michael Jackson into this. Okay, Richard, that's fine. If that's what you you thinking? Uh, uh, what about that one about the the? I can't think of any Michael Jackson songs. I can think of loads. Thriller? No, that's not. That's not good. Trisha, do we ever sing? Uh, get, did sing your testicle off? What do you mean? Oh, sorry. That's oh, fine. You need a handkerchief, Richard. That's fine. I'm just here to serve you. It's all good. I love you, Ali. Fuck off. Get I hate you, monkey. Okay. Look, all right, everyone. Let's. I, I, I feel like I'm kind of intinging on some old friends here. I'm gonna let these guys get on with it.
and the earth go. Goodbye everyone, what a doubt love, what a doubt the peace. Hello, I love, I love you. Go away, Marvin. Um, did we ever do a uh, goodbye, Richard's balls? I don't know if we did do that. We probably did. It feels like we should send off the old ball. Well, it's gone. It's been gone for three months, mate. Yeah. That, you know, goodbye, Richard's ball. Though I never touched you that much. You did that time. That was your penis. And it was all okay. You were used up quite a lot and then you got old and wrinkled and you had to be thrown away and that was for the death and it seemed to me you lived your life like a dollar in a sack sometimes stunking out the namely oh, nobody else around I'd really like to have known you that I was hard about getting covered in stunk. The legend died out long before. The legend died out as well. I'm trying to look for the bollock. It's dis Why does it keep disappearing, this bollock? It keeps on disappearing, doesn't it? It just disappears and it's gone. Where is it? It's got a will of its own. It's got a will of its own. Really, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to carry on. We'll find new heights. No Sally this week. Um, no, uh, just because we don't. We got the Queen. We don't need a female one this week. We've got the Queen. Um, and uh, look, we've done an hour and fifteen. I hope you enjoyed the new characters. Looney Bird will be back next week. And oh wait, what's going on? Looney Bird's in here. Keep that bird away from me, Richard. Oh look, uh, it, do it doesn't like you, Ali. It's you can see through it. It doesn't. Ah. Oh no, this this is going to be in one of those clips they just play. Ah, oh, I'll get off me, you fucking trick. It's one of the clips, isn't it? They just, oh, this is like Parkinson a bit, but it's not that this is like Emu. Ah, ah get off me, little tate nashy dick, you fucker. Get off me. Bye, everyone. See you now. Oh, see you next time. King of the world.